All right, now we're going to look at the hair. I haven't looked at this for about two years because I just haven't been wanting to really find out what it is or etc. But there it is again. Now what's interesting about this hair is that it looks black right now, but in certain lightings it looks brown or reddish. And then in some lightings it actually looks greenish. Now what that means I have no idea, but that's what it is. So we're going to take a piece of this hair and we're going to get a real close up on it, if I can. The only way you'd see the different color of the hair is to do it on, uh, outside. Right now I'm using halogen light and it's just showing up as black. A little brownish, but outside you can see that it's like a black, greenish. It's just weird looking hair. Anyway, I don't usually touch it, but I'm actually just going to grab it because I don't have anything right around me to grab it with. But All right. I did grab it when I came out of the woods, so I do know it's not... I never got sick off it or anything. But there, here's a nice curl. Um, it wants to stay kind of curled up. It doesn't want to come apart, as it looks like. It's very coarse. I can't wait to get a... Uh, microscope and look at this. It's very coarse. Like I said, it holds its its curve. Look, I can't even bend it. So, that's that. Here's a nice piece. You can see how, gosh, it would just stick out all over the place. This stuff is interesting. See how shiny it is. I saw a creature I never told anybody this. Well, I actually did the other day. I um, I saw what looked like a big St. Bernard-sized animal with this kind of hair on it. And it was long, shaggy hair. And it looked like a, a big wolf. I saw it from about 100 feet. And what makes it interesting is that I didn't recognize the animal. And then what really was freaky, and now that I've been telling people stuff about like what's been really going on and not hiding as much stuff because I, you know, just didn't want people not to understand where I'm coming from. But anyway, I saw this animal, took about three steps, glanced at me, and headed into the ground. So I figured, oh great, there's a cave there. So I came back another day with a bud, and we were armed to the teeth and figuring this animal might be in there, so we were very careful. And went over to the spot where I thought it went into the ground, and there was no cave entrance. We looked all over this field where it was, where it went in, and there was no cave entrance. Now, how does an animal just disappear into the ground? I have no clue and I guess that's why I'm doing this because I'm starting to figure that there's something else going on in this world totally different. It's, it must be very simple because I've also had other experiences with things like that where things have just disappeared kind of thing and um, so that's where I'm at right now in my work 
Um, I do intend to stake out different areas because of that and try to dig into it more. But um, back to that animal, it looked like it had shorter feet in the front, had big feet in the back, it was on all fours, and it, it had like a mane on the back of dark black hair, which was really oily looking and slick. And um, coming coming down the back of it, and it had a big big tail. It looked like a big f furry tail, hairy tail. But I did only see it for about ten seconds, which was quite a bit. But it, my mind just couldn't figure out what kind of animal I was looking at. And then it disappearing into the ground kind of was freaky. But I figured, like I said, I thought, well, it's just a cave there, you know, no problem. The guy just goes into a little hole in the ground. But there's no hole in the ground and an animal that size, there would have been a massive hole right there. And if they were living there, there would be a, a lot of action going on, but I've never seen anything. So back to that theory again. But anyway, there's the hair, the other stuff. There's actually other stuff, but oh yeah, the fur, the pelt and all sorts of other junk with the bones and all that. And I leave all the bones that they give me up at this, one spot because sometimes they come back and they grab them and then they bring them back later or they swap it out with something else they take rocks and put them around the place they don't take any of my fancy rocks but they take all the just some rocks that I give them I don't know why and then they return them at the end of the year so that's kind of strange too but let's see I think I'm probably going in over 10 minutes here so I'm going to have to slow down and uh, end this, I guess. Also in my freezer, I have um, dung material that I, I've collected because like it, I've said it this uh, before that somebody came to my house and left me a big pile of droppings and three footprints. I have since found the droppings in other places, and that's how I can tell where they are. But I am going to look into that more to see what I can find out about that. I'm going to get a chemistry set and read up on all that junk. I used to do chemistry in school and all that, so it shouldn't be really hard to remember how to do stuff. But that's my plan. If you're wondering why I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I've been rushing around trying to gather stuff up. But <laughs> anyway... So that's my plan. I wish I could show you the drop-ins. Um, maybe one day I will when somebody comes up with a, a good answer for what's happening and stuff. But for right now, I'm not going to show people that. Um, I can tell you that it resembles a, another animal's droppings, but it, there is a difference. And once you learn the difference, you can see it. But if you saw the droppings out in the field or whatever, you would not you would just attribute it to a different animal. That's why I don't want to just say this is, show you what it is, because you'll just go out there, people would just go out there and go bananas and not know what they're looking for, because there's a difference between this and the other thing. And it's a very slight difference. One being, one's an animal, one eats animals, and the other one eats vegetables. And it's very easy to tell the difference. Unfortunately, they look almost the same, except for a the consistency and the uh, and the um, there's just a tiny little irregularity in the shape which is different from this other known animal that we all know so anyway there I am I'm gonna put this stuff away again I guess <laughs>